everybody. Day four. Today we're in Asakusa, and we're right now we're at the Sensuji Shrine slash temple. A lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. But really nice. We slept in again today. Got up. Got some delicious lunch in the area. Really good. Yeah, it was like a raw fish and rice. Dunbury bowls. Surprisingly, yeah. not that expensive. Especially for the area, it was quite touristy. But a lot of people. Yeah, lots yeah. of people. Yeah, we're off to explore. Bye. Done drinking coffee at a vintage coffee shop. I don't think it was really vintage. I think it was just old. Really old. Reminded me a lot of my grandma's place. Like if my grandma ran a coffee shop. It was really sweet though. The lady spoke no English, so we had to Google the word coffee in Japanese. But it worked, and it was really, really good drip coffee. Yeah, it was a nice little stop. Delicious. We've spent all day, literally all day, in this area, just wandering around through the streets, looking at the shrines. And now we are about to go buy a knife on the very, very crowded kitchen shopping street. Yeah, so I wish you luck. big subway station shopping mall. Tokyo Station Underground has a lot of really neat shopping and they also have a ramen shop that does gluten-free ramen. It was also vegan. Yes, but it was also vegan. So, so it was all right. The broth was flavored with carrots. It tasted really good. Definitely not authentic ramen, but sometimes when you're gluten-free you get what you can take. Yeah. No, oh, we were able to buy a knife. We did succeed in buying a knife and we went shopping around in Tokyo Station and bought a couple other access accessories. Souvenirs. Yeah. Souvenirs is what the word I was going for. And we also bought some 
cheese. So we'll be having a lovely night in with some cheese. I'm going to rent a movie on my phone. A view and a movie. Yep. Hit the hay early because we are both tired after walking... 15 miles? 15 miles today. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Bye, everybody. Bye. Till tomorrow. Happy hey. Sunday. We didn't do much today. No, we managed to get to church this morning and came back and I slept for like three hours. I watched YouTube. And then tonight we went out to dinner at Coco's. Always a staple. Yeah, then we went <coughs> to see the uh, Tokyo Tower. Which Pretty is, interesting. It's just like an Eiffel Tower, but orange and white. Really ugly colors. Mm -hmm. It has like some anime stores in the bottom. Yeah, but it was a nice little walk. Yeah. Found a shrine that had a bunch of little babies that were clothed and had windmills in their hands. Yeah, that's a good thing about Tokyo. You can just pick a street, walk down it, yeah. go find a cool shrine. Yeah. An Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> Today was just a really chill day though. After going for the past five days, yeah. it was just a well needed. Sit rest down. day yeah yeah so one of the interesting things that we've noticed about tokyo is their obsession with halloween we yeah. got here on the third of october yeah and there's so much halloween merchandise halloween advertising halloween products like even restaurants like kfc and mcdonald's has a separate halloween menu like it's just like everything's so orange much. It's something that is very rare in Korea. Like, you literally have to look for anything Halloween or... You have to go out of your way. Sometimes even fall-themed stuff. Yeah. Trying to find pumpkin spice lattes in Seoul is a challenge. Not here. Here, everything. They're everything. so proud of Halloween. It's great. Huh? But I think we're going to head in. hang out a little bit for tonight. And then tomorrow, we have our last full day here in Tokyo. So we're going to... One last big day. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll report back then. Bye.